Hi, I'm Hans Hartman, and this is Green Scene. Today we're here at the home of the BIOS water car. The water car is a 1972 Mustang. It's not really what I would talk about when I say efficient, fuel efficient, with the price of gas hovering at just about $5 a gallon. How do you drive a car like this? Well, today we're here with Steve Shepard. Hi, Steve. Hey, Hans. Good to see you. Good How's to see going? you, too. Awesome. Great. Today we're here with Steve Shepard to talk about this amazing car, which is no longer a gas guzzler, but it's actually fuel efficient. Steve, tell me a little bit about this car. I mean, it's, it's a 72 Mustang. Um, I've driven these. I've driven them way too fast, too. Um, I don't remember these ever getting really good gas mileage. Well, this isn't one of those breakneck muscle cars. This has got a uh, straight six in it. So 1972 Ford kind of had a heart attack with the gas crunch and they pulled the 351 and put the straight six in it. So the base mileage on this is actually 17 miles uh, to the gallon, which is not terrible when you consider it's a 1972. I mean, even at 17 miles to the gallon, it's not getting good enough fuel economy. But this is the water car. Are you just putting water into the gas tank? What are you doing? No, definitely not putting water into the gas tank. We're putting hydrogen and oxygen gas into the manifold. Well, isn't hydrogen like extremely explosive? Isn't gasoline extremely explosive? Well, in its liquid form, no, but in a gaseous state, yes. So you're, are you just dumping hydrogen into, into We're the We're creating engine? hydrogen and oxygen on demand. So there's never a tank. There's no, no Hindenburg. There's no giant explosions. Um, this tank here is where we generate the hydrogen. If I took this liquid that was in this tank and I poured it on you, would you explode? No, I'd be wet. It's just You'd be water. Wet? Water. So no additives, taking, no anything. You're taking the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the water. Correct. And turning it back into its base elements. How Correct. do you do that? Well, there's an old process called electrolysis. Scientists have known about it for probably 200 years. Um, but we've supercharged it a little okay. bit. Okay. You have the two alternators in here. If, if you were to put this together on my car, would I have to have two alternators in the car to make this thing run? No, absolutely not. Uh, this car, the main alternator is a, a 61 amp alternator. This old car only uses 18 amps at its peak. So there's that extra, you know, 40 amps that are left over. Let me see if I've got this correct. You're taking electricity and you're pulsing it through a $3.50 switch. That comes through through this set of the wires here. The alternator comes into the bridge rectifier. And from the bridge rectifier, it hits the positive and negative of these tubes. So these tubes and these tubes on the inside they don't touch each other at all, correct? correct? But they're all tied together. Each one of the inner tubes and each one of the outer tubes are tied together. And the electricity going between the tubes is what actually breaks the molecules apart. And instead of having H2O, we have HHO, which correct. is an actual gas. The hydrogen fuel cell typically takes a fossil fuel and then burns it in a non-combustible right. fashion and then turns that into electricity. This is just taking water and turning it into hydrogen and oxygen. Excellent. Well, I tell you what, I love what you've done. I think it's fantastic. Why don't we, uh, why don't we clean this up a little, put everything together, and why don't you show me how this, how this works? Absolutely. Okay, we'll, we'll take a ride. I have got to get me one of these. Let's show everybody how cool hydrogen in a uh, Mustang is. 